Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. The Lord bless each and everyone joining under the sound of my voice in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, This is a new day that the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be glad. This particular prophetic word title is talking about this man love you so, so much. The separation was to protect you. Hallelujah. This man love you. The separation was to protect you. I use this opportunity to welcome each and every one in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Basil. If you're coming across this channel for your very first time, or you'll see my face. May the Lord bless you. You're very much welcome. This is prophetic blessings. We receive God's word. We help people to be a consistent prayer lifestyle. We are praying every day. Please become part of this family. The Bible says iron, sharpen it iron, so that your faith might be sharpened on this platform every day. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. At the place of prayers, family, the Lord gave me this particular prophetic word. He's talking about your personality. He's talking about your relationship. He's talking about your love life. He's talking about yourself. This is your separation. You have been asking God this question. How can God allow this happen to you upon everything, upon all the prayer? Even Job, Job asked God the same question. God, am I not faithful upon everything that I've been doing for you? I am your faithful servant. Are you in that situation whereby you started a life with a young man thinking that he will settle down with you? Then at the end, you got disappointed by this man and you're asking yourself question, why is your own things this way? Everything in your life is always in the opposite. Every day you're asking yourself question. Every day you're asking yourself question. I bring you the word of God. Praise Master Jesus. I bring somebody the word of God. One, the Bible says everything works together for good. I think in the book of Romans, all things work together for good for to all those that love God. So whenever situation seems not to work well in your life, the first thing you need to check is the love of God. If the love of God is there, forget. If you're standing with God, forget. David stood with God. That was why Goliath was making the, the noise he, he was loving. He said, you call me a dog, but I come in the name of the God of Israel. Everything was together for good. Praise Master Jesus. Most of the time, some separation comes to protect our life in the way we don't understand. Let me share, share with us a brief story. So many years backward, I was traveling. Because I had this, 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 this habit since more than 15 years today when I was still very young. When I'm about to travel, like in my home country, there is this 70-seater bus that we, we always took to go to my region or my city or my village. Whenever they enter this 70-seater, when the bus kick up, I then I'll wake up and start preaching. After preaching, I'll pray. After preaching, I'll pray. So that has always been my habit. So one day, I left another uh, still state to to another state i took the bus it was raining and there is this particular place on the bus in the middle that they always open i don't know if it is for air or whatsoever it's up so it was raining so then uh, the top of the bus water water stand on the top of the bus like there was a place that water stand there then when the bus kick off so the water had to flush back and enter through that tunnel and, and pour on people that, was, that were sitting inside the bus. So where I was sitting, I was sitting in that particular place so that it would be easy for me to wake up, preach. When, when, when the bus kick up, I should wake up, I can preach easily, walk among the people like preach, go in front, preach, come back. So that is where I always love to sit. That very faithful day, I sat there. Then a lady entered. This lady told me, shift and go inside. I said, no, ma. I have been here ever since. As the lady insisted, the Spirit of the Lord told me, get up from that chair. The lady started shouting, look at this young rubbish. Nonsense. You don't have respect. You cannot respect your elders. Air this one. Air this one. Go inside. You cannot. I just, I'm sorry, ma. I get up. One man just told me, no, my son, get up from there. I got up from there. I looked for somewhere else. I went and sat there. Lo and behold, that disappointment was for my blessings. So where I supposed to sit was where the tunnel was. So the lady now shouted at me. I left the place. She, she now sat there. As the lady sat there, then I was waiting for the 
for the bus to kick off like i was trying to meditate my bible i was reading my bible i was just meditating in in, in silence according to her she was seeing me as a as those type of people that are pretending okay i just told god father i give you all the glory you said everything works together for good for to all those that love god i know you asked me to leave that place for a particular reason as the bus kick off lo and behold all the water that was on on the bus pour on that woman very cold it entered the tunnel with that woman alone exactly where she was sitting that was where the tunnel was all her dress everything was wet everybody was laughing when she was wet i stood up now i started praying i started preaching to them to, to, to the people when i was preaching everybody could believe even the woman st stood quiet i was now telling them that in life there are some disappointment that is blessings all of them now started, all the passengers started saying, it's true, man of God, it's true, pastor. Look at the disappointment that just happened to you. It was for your blessing. So actually what happened, God was preserving and protecting me because I had a mission. With that type of cold and everything, maybe I will be like disconnected. I won't have that, that particular courage to do it again. So I learned something from that day. I learned something. Praise Master Jesus. I learned something from that day. There are some disappointments that are blessings into your life. You might be watching me right now and you're saying, Pastor, I was disappointed by a man that wanted to marry me. I was disappointed by a woman. Child of God, listen to me. Most of the time, some disappointment are some blessings. Let me share with us again another testimony. There is a, a, there is a man that God protected. This man locked her shop on her way going back. This man was the only one that has access of communication. Like people always come to him to, 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 to call people. Like there was one guy that rushed to the man and said, please, there is somebody that wants to call someone that is very, very urgent. This man was already going. So if this man has refused to go back and, and help that particular person, that very day, there was a plan act concerning that man. The plan to kidnap him, the plan to arrest him. But as, okay, the people that were, that were there monitoring him as he was leaving his business place, when they saw him leaving, they now called their colleague that he is coming. The people left. As they were going, they knew that the mission was already accomplished. Lo and behold, this man came back just to help this woman. There are some disappointments that are blessings. And the people failed. Praise Master Jesus. Their operation failed. Child of God, listen to me. I have come to speak to somebody under the sound of my voice. I don't care to know the area of which you have been disappointed. Listen to me. One of the worst things you will do to yourself is for you to take your life whenever you're disappointed. No matter how angry and disappointed you are, never you take your life. Praise Master Jesus. Refuse to die. Refuse to go down. The Bible says everything works together for good. Check your life. If God is with you, forget about the, the, the heartbreak. If God is with you, forget about the disappointment. If God is with you, forget about everything. No matter how they love you, praise Master Jesus, no matter how they love you, forget about the disappointment. The disappointment was to protect you. The Bible says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered the heart of a man. The things that God has prepared for all those that love him. As you love God, everything is working for your good. All things. The disappointment was to protect your life. You never can tell if you were still with that man, you could have been died by now a dead man. You never can tell if you were still in that particular company. Today, you could have been, been dead. You never can tell if you were still in that same job. Today, something could have happened. God do, does everything for a particular reason. I pray for someone watching and connecting in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and I decree you will not go down. That disappointment was for your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.